What's, What's up, bottom, bottom nation? nation? That's right. That's our first time <laughs> ever having a guest, Remy Casimir, host of what? This is the first time? Yeah, anyone's done <gasps> Bottom Nation with me. Oh my God. It's my first time. Wow, I'll be gentle. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I'm the top. And I will be Bottom Nation. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Remy's on the episode. It's a great episode. Yeah, it's fun. It's a thoughtful episode. Mm -hmm. We get into a lot of like, it's the nuanced conversation episode about all the things where you're like, ah, oh, but I don't want to say this out loud. We talk about yeah. behavior while you're in the closet. We talk about queer baiting. We talk about when you assume someone's gay, all <laughs> the things that you're not supposed to do. Yeah. But we talk about them in a thoughtful way. Yeah, and sometimes and then, it happens. And then you have to deal with those thoughts. You do, yeah. You do have to deal with them. And then we also get into Remy's gay or maybe even bisexual sex. Yeah. It's a great episode. Yeah, it's really fun. Remy's doing the gay thought with me. Stay tuned. Enjoy okay. the episode, guys. Listener, you might notice there's no ads on this episode. That means that this episode was 100% sponsored by gay people like you. Listener, go to patreon.com slash WHGS. You can get up to four bonus episodes a month, and that includes our full backlog plus the live stream of my comedy show, plus a ton of other bonus content. It's the best way to keep this podcast going. And if you donate a dollar today, that would have been more helpful for us than listening to the ads. So consider donating a dollar. And if you're on the fence, here's a little taste of what you'll see on the Patreon. I spent an abnormal amount of time eating her ass. <laughs> she decided to ask me what it tasted like after we had finished. I told her that her ass tasted like chicken nuggets. I don't know if it was the tequila or if she was genuinely angry, but she started screaming at me to get out. I drunkenly hobbled back to my place, confused as hell, and opened the door to find La Fonda. She gave me the fattest kiss no. with tongue. No. <laughs> oh. Skull emoji. Oh, God. She then asked me, if I got chicken nuggets without her. No, are you Skull fucking serious? Emoji. Are you fucking serious? That's crazy. Oh, please tell me that's true. <laughs> One more time, that's patreon.com slash WHGS. For his birthday, I brought him to Crazy Horse. It's like a naked lady review. It's one of the sexiest shows I've ever seen. And I was like, I'm going to take him for his birthday so we both can get really horny and then fuck. But the row in front of us, they had fancier foods. They had like foie gras and like caviar and stuff. And so when they left and the show was over, I was like, then grab their tray. <laughs> Get that food. Out. The American way. Ben jokingly was like, want to do a caviar bump? And I was like, sure. And then we just started putting it like, oh no. Everywhere. Hot. That's fun. So hot. So salty. Yeah, I have a waist up crush on Rob on Love Island. I'm so excited. This is, he's my biggest crush. And like, it makes me feel like I've done no work in therapy. <laughs> Whatever straight women are falling for, I'm falling for it too. Yeah. I mean, obviously I'm not sexually turned on by him, but uh -huh. he's so pretty. He's beautiful. He's he's pretty. And Jen has a huge crush on him too. And he's very Vampire Diaries coded. And I like, he's just like, yeah, he's Rob dark Rowdy. and mysterious. Yeah. yeah. You kind of look like him. I li I long to yes. live in a world where I don't know who Ro Rob Roush is, yeah. but um, where <laughs> Wait, I haven't when did consumed you start 800 hours of Love Island. I've been watching Love Island for years. It's Jen and I's favorite TV show. Really? I think I started. Have we talked about it? I know you love Love Island. Yeah. Because I used you to have, have a that, whole podcast yeah, dedicated to it. I love Love it. Island. We really love Island. We really love Island. Yeah. There it is. It's so much better. You're great with, you're so great with names. I'm good with words. Thanks. Um, but. You get the best words. Um, my words <laughs> are so big. They're as big as the cats that the Haitians are eating. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just obsessed. Did Fulton get scared? <laughs> <laughs> Was he like, they're doing what? <laughs> my cats <laughs> ran out of the room. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, but I have a I have a big crush on Love Island. I've been watching Love Island 2020, probably when I started. Did I tell you about it? I I'd heard about a it lot from of you. comics. Yeah, yeah, because you were really you, you put were people on, on it. it. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, Remy. I told 
every comic that has ever lived in New York City wow. about Love Island. Because some, I started watching this show called X on the Beach with the UK version. They have a US version now, but it's trash. And it was wonderful. Like they are just trying to make people confront their exes, but they're all sluts in the best way. Like they, they're all fucking all the time. And I was posting about it and then some, uh, a fan of How Come was like, if you like X on the Beach, you'll love Love Island. And so shout out to that person. Love Island is yeah. so good. It's truly the best, some of the best reality TV out there. Yeah. And this US season that we're talking about, if you guys haven't watched it, it's- They put so much money into it because of Ariana. Oh, really? Like Ariana- well, she's great. She's great. And she slays. She man. does slay. She's so she hot. does. She she she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But more than that, I think she I think what we love about the Love Island hosts is when they are empathetic and mm -hmm. they're in it. Like they wa they're watching and they're in it. Yeah. So when she says things like, Aaron, I have all day. I have all day. Oh, man poetry I, I was i started watching it a bit my girlfriend turned me on to love island i think this past se season six was the last season for usa yes i mean <laughs> but i learned about the word achillean because achillean we were we, i was thinking this show is ripe for an achillean, achillean? so sapphic is to women as achillean is to men it's no like no way and I was like, this show is due for an Achillean, a true Achillean moment. It is Because one very guy, Achillean. like, when one of the, I can't remember oh, the Oh, Rob and Aaron. Rob and yeah, Aaron. Yeah, but, like, one of the guys was kicked off, and the guy, like, fully cried. Yeah, and Aaron I was, yeah. was like, sobbing. When yeah. is there going to be, like, There's a full, always like, a bromance. I love him. But that's the thing. I there is always a bromance, when but you not in this way. Yeah, there. Was like true. And I'm not saying anything about anything. Well, it was, Aaron. I've never seen a guy sob over, no. I have seen guys sob over guys, but they've sobbed over the girls they're with too. Aaron never cried over Kayla. This is, okay. Uh, toxic warning. We're going to speculate as to whether or not someone's gay. You are. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I watch Aaron, I see someone who obviously has a lot to, do, to work on himself with, mm -hmm. with a lot of really redeeming qualities. Mm -hmm. You know, like- He's silly. He's fun. He loves musical theater. Like he was adorable in Traders. You know. Oh, I didn't. I didn't watch that one. But like, yeah, you do have to wonder: is he selfish mm -hmm. or is he gay? And I think that's like one of the sad things. <laughs> selfish, selfish or, or gay. gay? No, but you know what do I mean. You know that song like, in Legally Blonde, the musical "Gay or European"? <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah, the yeah, new yeah. Selfish, selfish or gay? Well, I mean that because people who are this is like a big debate. Like. Colton Underwood did some mm. incredibly horrible, toxic mm -hmm. things while he was in the closet. And I'm on the side of, well, shit, he was mentally ill. And no, <laughs> he shouldn't have done those things. Mentally ill, like closeted. <laughs> closeted. Okay. I think it makes Just people- Just to be clear. <laughs> I, I think it, it makes, makes them people mentally more Ill mentally ill than we really think about. Because they're separating themselves from themselves. I mean, themselves. that guy was a professional football player yeah. in a relationship with a woman for several years. He went on national television where to he had to play a, a straight man. Yeah. 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 I would say that could really fuck you up. Yeah. Does it excuse crimes? No. Can I tell you something crazy about Colton? Yeah. And it. I keep like laughing, but it's not at Colton. It's for some reason during his seasons, there was something about his nipples that I was just like, ooh, Colton. And then I would lick Ben's nipples and I'd go, I'd go, ooh, Colton, Colton. And he'd be like, get Do off they have of me. Similar nipples? No. Can you bring up a picture of Colton <laughs> Underwood's nipples, okay. please? But I wasn't licking them in a sexual way. I was doing it like a like a dog would like lick food and like kind of to bother Ben too. Do they look like pepperoni? Yeah. <laughs> or no, Ben's do. Oh. I don't really remember what Colton's Cole look Underwood like. Underwood shirtless bachelor. <laughs> this is, we're really being. Isn't that weird? We're really going. But to this day, if you say Colton, Ben will cover his chest. <laughs> <laughs> you Pavlov. Oh, he's lovely nipples. Yeah, they're great. The God, first, he's handsome. He's another one. So handsome. On the internet was very funny. It was Colton Underwood's nipples already showing signs of quote unquote heavy use. <laughs> Wait, maybe somebody said something about sucking the nips. Well, like I don't that's know. That's crazy. He, I don't he know. He's a real daddy bear of a boyfriend or husband. Good. Really good. Yeah. I'm so happy for him. So about yeah, time. like.
Cassie should not be a victim to someone's coming out process, but that's what homophobia does. Yeah. It does not just hurt the gay people. It hurts the gay people that the gay people are hurting. For sure. And I think we, as a community, we don't want to claim that. No. We don't want to claim that that type of hurt can happen from being in the process yeah. and we can hurt people with it, but we can. Yeah. You know, we've all been hurt by an ex that wouldn't come out. You know, like Chapel so Rome. many of us. Chapel Roan. And now some beautiful art has been has born out of that. Has she come on here yet? Yeah. She did? Before, before she, she blew was, up. Before she was popping. Good job. Thank you. I'm so proud. Yeah. I had Ariana Maddox on before she like super no. blew up. Yeah. That's so come. cool. Yeah. Um, wait, but, but anyway. the thing about Aaron too, I don't remember whose quote this is. It's somebody prolific as fuck. And I sound really dumb because I just read it the other day, <laughs> but it's, it's about straight people or straight men specifically. And it's like the love that straight men have for women does not compare to the love that they have for other straight men because that's what they really value. So it could it could be internalized homophobia, but it also could just be like misogyny. Yeah. Store mm. brand misogyny. Yeah. It's mm. really I mean, you see it in something like the debate the other night where Trump kept referencing all the men in Kamala's oh, life, men. Biden mm -hmm. and um, her father, who I guess wasn't around as much. I mean, I don't really know the history there. So excuse me if that's not correct. Fill me in right in, please. But um, I was like, man, like they really, there they is- They can't help it. They really don't see women as full people sometimes. No. And it's really, for some reason I'm shocked every time and I really shouldn't be. I mean, when women get mad at other women, we treat them as not full people. For sure. When women, yeah, I mean, the, so maybe the it is that. oppressing other oppressed. And there we go. And that's women the, hating women yeah. is a product of misogyny. It is. And but can't we all just and it's not our fault <laughs> <laughs> but you're on to something i mean there because i know at least in ancient greece there's always like a lot of like a, i mean this women were just for bad. babies yeah I mean, men that, were for and, love and conversations and, and grandmas yeah, are like for were like, elderly women are there for raising the grandkids yeah i mean yeah, yeah there was there was like you know, uh, homosexual relationships between men quite literally because they were like, how could you love a woman? Yeah. Like, I love her. That is such a great, <laughs> wait, we need to look into that. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that's legit how they did it. Wait, that's like, this brings me to a point that. Wow, we this is an incredible episode so far. So far, so All good. All stemming from a semi-toxic conversation about, <laughs> yeah. about self-loathing homophobia. Um, so I wrote some topics down. I okay. will say last nice. thing on Love Island. Yeah. I do think it's a gateway drug to, being gay because watching hot people practically naked uh -huh. on an island allows you to be gay in the privacy of your home <laughs> as entertainment. Like yeah. you can, like for me, watching Rob allows me to be straight in the privacy of my home mm -hmm. as entertainment. Damn. You know what I mean? Fun. Like I, I can't be with him. I'm not attracted to him, but like, and I this, almost wish I could be. This is the bi agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana's oh, no. hosting. Is she I'm bi? pushing it to everyone. Yeah, she is. Nice. Motherfucker. Can, yeah. I, can you connect me possibly? Yeah, I could try. Would that be weird? I don't know if she still take my calls, yeah. but we still follow each other on TikTok. Okay, okay. Yeah. I. Wow, she's bi. Yeah. We should have her. Yeah. We should have her. But I will say like, this is why I and think- And there have been bi relationships on, or like girl, girls who were bi on Love Island who- A couple times. Coupled up, yeah. But I, I will say, I do think if we're going to get, and this is why I argue, argue for my, my show, my, um, top, top town or whatever. Uh, what did I call it? Top town. No, it's not called top town. <laughs> it's it, you're in town, but the people are doing the pissing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was, it's, um, fuck. What did I call it? It was such a great title. It was a good title. Well, Must my, have been that good. sloppy toppy. No, no, <laughs> it's the opposite of that. It's gonna be the top of it? it's gay love island. Mm -hmm. Everyone instead of men versus women, like as the the teams, the coupling, it's tops and bottoms versus versus. She sees versus. coupling as versus. You know what I <laughs> the mean? Battle the battle of the romance. Um, yes, it's tops and bottoms, but yeah. everyone is femme and everyone is hot. I love that, that. Is the only way to get straight people to watch it for sure. Yeah. That, because they don't have masculine they, women on something. Well, no. Okay. I wasn't going to, I was going to say they like the categories of top and bottom. They don't like it when it's a loosey goosey thing. Oh, everybody's yes, competing yes. for everybody. No nuance. Want, yeah. 
No ambiguity. Did you now, watch that the, season of um, Are You the One? Where yeah, everyone liked everything. It it tanked in the ratings. I found it fun, but nobody I else watched it. Watching it, yeah, but they the couldn't. One? It was too much all at once. <laughs> no rules, no genders. Wait, no- in this one, instead of just sleeping all in the same room, different beds, they all sleep in one bed. That's nuts. And it's big. That's crazy. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do love the prison style wake up in Love Island. Same. I was a big fan of that feature. Same. Where people just get woken up by a. I love everything about it. I've looked into like, I'm like, it, when it's do so they It's so psychologically depressed, like distressing though. Like you yeah. can't, it's sort of like finding out the factories that you get your clothes from. You're like, oh my God, this Ugh. shouldn't be happening, but I'm going to keep watching. I you interned at Rent the Runway and I will never look at gowns the same. Wait, what? You know, rentthenrunway.com? Yeah. I worked there and just watching the dresses come in and it like, I, they became such like just a little commodity instead of something fun. And it's weird because you know, they, they don't, they barely cost more to make than any other thing, you know, but they're priced so high. We weren't making them. No, I know. Yeah. I know. But yeah. But yes. Uh, fashion is horrible. Yes. Wait. So you were talking about the misogyny and does it actually allow you to love women truly? So the other night or last night, I we were women. supposed to go to the woods. You me. The Adam. greatest tragedy, the greatest <laughs> tragedy that has happened in this country on the date of 9-11 <laughs> truly. was what happened to me last night Yeah, <laughs> when both of my friends failed to go to the woods with me. Well, Not just you, but Kylie too. Everyone bailed uh, on me. Well, Kylie well, moved to LA. I, I was dressed up like Jenna Lyons. I was ready. And then I found out that the woods was in Brooklyn. I said, hell no. Really? I'm on the west side. <laughs> if I was on the east side, maybe, but no. Um, we'll go another time. Maddie still wants to go. Yeah, no, we should go. And Just prepare yourself mentally that it is in Brooklyn. Yes, I know. You can come hang out here. I'll come the here day. first. Yeah, yeah, we'll do another pod. But um, <laughs> we'll do this again. I was The FaceTime- Remy Ashley, like, philosophical, just- um, It's deep. Sesh. Yeah. It's all about reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> but it's deep though. No, but, I, but I've been selling re- reality TV to people as like anthropology for years. It, I'm I just mean, like, it teaches you about people. It is to a degree. They're like mini psychological It doesn't just teach you yeah. about people. It's the way that we consume people also. Totally. That, that's big on That's a good it. point. Yeah. Uh, soil and green as people. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned about that the other day. That was a throwback. I know it was a Jeopardy thing on whatever. I'm so stupid. Um, the thing I was going to say, I was so excited to go to the woods and I was talking to my friend, Tim. Do you remember my friend, Tim? Of course. Yeah. And Tim is gay for you guys who are listening. And, and the woods is a, and the woods is, is a, a lesbian bar. Lesbian bar. By the way, this is for those who don't Remy know. Casimir, host <laughs> oh, of hi. Hum, Hum, comedian, <laughs> dear friend of mine, she, they, hey, pansexual. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think by now because I learned I relearned the the meaning. Okay. Anyway, doesn't matter. I like all of you and none of you. So um, <laughs> t- I was telling Tim about it, and he was like, ah, "Ben's not allowed to go to the woods." And I said, "Oh yeah, why not?" And I know he was talking about like the discourse of if this, straight uh, yes, men are allowed to this go. Discussion a lot on both of my podcasts. Yeah. And I was like, why not? Like, just to like needle at Tim. And he was like, because, and then he goes, well, actually he should be able to go there over me because you guys have more in common. Like he actually likes women. I was like, right. And you find us disgusting. And he was like, totally. (laughs) (laughs) Which like half an interesting, half a joke, but also like Tim has said to me, yeah, yeah oh, vaginas are so gross until he learned about trans men and he was like, oh, I'd fuck a pussy. I'm like, you hate women. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I think that everyone talks about how endangered by men in these spaces, these lesbian spaces. The only thing that a lesbian space is going to fall prey to is that gay men turn out to sell more drinks. Mm. No straight man is going to overthrow a lesbian bar. Gay men, gay men will overthrow a lesbian yeah. bar. There are always gay guys at every le- lesbian bar I go to. And that being said, sometimes more. Obviously, some straight men should not be able to go if they're just going to like try and ogle people and hit on them or whatever, and, and make they'll them be kicked out. They should be kicked out. But the point that I made, and I don't want to belabor this point because we have talked about this like three times now, but 
if a trans woman, mm -hmm. this really resonated in the comments, if a trans woman who has done no physical process in the transition, mm -hmm. just has thought about it, just is thinking just is. about the idea yeah. of being seen as a lesbian. Yeah. If she can't go with me as a friend, hasn't even told me, maybe oh, Jamie hasn't come out to me yeah. yet. Yeah. And says, can I, can I go to the woods with you? Jamie specifically. Out. Yeah, Jamie specifically. <laughs> yeah. And I were to say, no, it's not for you. Yeah. Not nice. Not nice. Because there are all kinds of ways to be phobic. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about who is let into a space or not. I agree. Moving on. And More comparing topics. it to More race topics. is not More. comparing it to race is not the same thing because no one can well, transition races. A lot, a lot of people say Michael Jackson. A lot of people Thank you, Alex. <laughs> a lot of people um say use it as a those spaces should be protected. This is how black people protect their spaces. I'm like, it's a little bit different. Mm. It's a little bit different. Tell Rachel Dolezal. No, I'm just kidding. They people did. And um yeah. It did not end well for no, her. No, <laughs> it, it shouldn't have. Um, we spoke about Chapel Roan. Yes. Did you see her at the VMAs? I did not. No. Oh, what man. happened at the VMAs? She just had an outrageously good performance. She As dressed like usual. Joan of Arc. Nice. And nice. I, I don't want to like objectify her too much, but she has a dumpy. Oh, I thought that was an adjective. And I was like, Remy. What? Uh, no, a dumpy is a noun. Yeah, like an ass. Yeah, like dumpy a, as an adjective is not. No, no, no. Always, I, I wouldn't was, say she is a dumpy or is dumpy. She has a has a dumpy. Gorgeous. She has a nice body behind. Sorry, sorry. I had never. I'm so sorry. We're sorry because people used to do this my to me too. Apologies, How rude of me! I would bury my face in her tits. She, I, I'm is a treasure. I'm. I regret to say, yeah, that I would love to suffocate in her ass. Yes, I but I regret to say that. And this was the outfit in question. Alex, how dare you bring this up? <laughs> Regrettable. Our deepest condolences, but we must she, see the bit I'm doing. Do you want to do it with me? Our deepest condolences. I We're sorry, I'm but so we must. Sorry. We're so sorry. I must but, give her a, a little, little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Um, she's got a heck of a costume designer touring with her. She's literally. doing like the wrestling thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole and Sasha Colby introduced her because you know how she's been saying I'm Who's your Sasha Colby. Oh, you guys, this is gay history. Okay, <laughs> oh my so bad. Sasha Colby is a drag queen. She's also trans, and she won like two seasons ago of Drag Race. And she is famous for saying I am your favorite drag queen's favorite drag queen. Mm. And Chapel Roan says I am your favorite artist's favorite artist. And she introduced her saying this. Uh, Chapel Roan, your favorite drag queen's favorite, favorite artist. artist. So cute. Wow. So cute. Fun. Iconic. She just never, I mean, like, she just seems like she never misses. She is an incredible artist. I hope she is okay. I hope she's doing okay. I like that she stands up for herself. I completely agree. I think it's I think cool. she'll, she'll be chilling. I think this is, many artists have gone through this gone before. Through and they I will think hers is pretty But her fans have been really receptive to it, too. Well, yeah. That's good. She talked about it. On the red well, carpet. I think that's what's amazing about what she's done is, and we can all learn from this in our relationships, not setting a boundary can be selfish mm -hmm. because you then receive res behavior that you resent. Yeah. Secretly. Yeah. And then you blow up one day. Yeah. So it is, and doing the opposite continue. And I'm learning this with both my fans. And yeah, no, this sounds really person, personal. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and then you blow up one day and you yell at Jen and you didn't mean to yell at Jen. <laughs> Jen has nothing to do well, with Jen this. Jen and I don't really, we have excellent boundaries. That's good. Anytime something comes up that we're like, I didn't like that, we say it immediately. Yeah, no, I was saying your boundaries with other people that you've let bleed. Oh my God. Onto poor Jen. Of <laughs> <laughs> but like she, learning that about myself and being able to do that and learning it from her, seeing her do it, like we invite, we invite behavior. Mm -hmm. When we apologize for something, maybe we shouldn't be apologizing for. Mm -hmm. We invite behavior when we're when we're, we're not setting boundaries. You know what I mean? So, seeing her and having seeing the success of it, I'm like, and just shrugging off the people who called it 
whatever they called it, which is just they're just like, so oh, it's not the right case. And like you wanted to be famous. And it's like, yeah, you do. But like, but those if, people if suck. She, no, but if <laughs> she wants to remain famous and if you like her as a famous person, let's not do the thing that we did to Britney. Let's not overexpose her or make her feel weird. Let's give her some downtime so that she continues to make stuff that we like. 100%. 100%. I mean, Britney had the additional challenge of moving from her family, young star, her family yeah. and moving from young star to adult. Yeah. I think Miley, same thing. Yeah. Young star to adult. Really, really hard. Yeah. Um, Making a branding change from your fans making fun of you for doing that. Mm-hmm. Rough. Yeah. Leave women alone. Yeah. Leave, leave us alone. I was I was bad to Miley back in the day. You were bad the Miley? What Internally, I'd never like write anything online. <laughs> but I'd be like. Eggs, there you go. Can I just yeah. stop? That is the mat. <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh-oh. Internally, but I never wrote anything online. Yeah. Thank you, Remy, for exemplifying what can easily be done. Okay. Just don't watch. <laughs> okay. the- just, <laughs> just stop listening. Yeah, but that one mean comment ups your engagement. A hundred percent. And puts you on the algorithm. Yeah, I've been Sometimes learning that. You nice. say something wrong on purpose. Ooh. You misspell something. Yeah. Just mis- misspell something yeah. in the captions. People go insane. They go wild. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, next topic. Next topic. Nice. I okay. love that you did this. We can, these yeah. are going to be great for the clips. more research than we put into the average <laughs> yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I have to say. Do you ever want to co-host? Yeah, you, we've already had this conversation. Oh, my bad. It's okay. Um, I'm Great. down. Yeah. There we go. It's happening. Remy is, we don't give Remy enough credit. I think you Remy give me a lot of credit. Is a great <laughs> <laughs> Remy's a great riffer. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Really good riffer. Yeah, when they're my topics. <laughs> no, always. <laughs> always. Okay. Sometimes I can't riff at like dinners, like especially what? with my family. Because, what? you know, it's too triggering. It's a problem. And yeah, it's a problem. I, don't riff at dinners I want with dinners my to be fun instead of like serious. And I feel That's like fair. with family, like you can get into serious territory That's very, very true. easily. So, this last Passover, I brought three topics. I brought curb your enthusiasm. Excellent topic. What does Passover. everyone think about it? Um, Joey, Butta- anyone... Joey Buttafuoco. You guys remember that guy? <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? And then Bobby Fisher. Where is he? The, the chess player? Do you remember? He was a, pro, a, pro, a prodigy, right? A yeah. young chess prodigy. He was prodigy. a chess player. And Those then we look topics, up. But I don't know. I, my answer to the second one is I don't remember. Who you don't that, remember who, Joey Betafuco. Who, who is that? Well, bring it up at lunch and people will tell you. <laughs> I also. Joey. It's okay. Um, but a Fuko, I remember was, the name. It was a crime story in the 90s where he was having an affair with an underage girl named Amy Fisher. And then Amy Fisher came to his house Sister and shot- Sister of Bobby Fisher. I don't know. Where is he? I- <laughs> <laughs> um, and she shot Joey Buttafuoco's wife in the face and the wife survived. Oh, Whoa. shit. Yeah. It was Sh- called like Long Island Lolita or something. They used to yeah. refer to it. Anyway, this one, is a one day various I various photos of everyone involved. Um, <laughs> don't love the underage thing. No, it's horrible. Kind of think the it's whole a thing badass. is very yeah, bad. I don't want anyone to get shot in the face, but pretty badass. If I saw it to, in a movie, I'd be rooting to for her. shoot the wife of the. He's like she didn't do don't anything. Don't you root for the victim? No, the so, wife didn't do anything. Yeah, that the wife sucks. Was yeah. Just, but don't you? If you saw a movie and this kid was getting. And yeah. then the kid sees that was, revenge. Well, she, she didn't feel that it was yeah, assault. Well, I mean, she, it, she was in love with Joey Buttafuoco. Oh, and yeah, that's if, why she shot the wife? It was a relationship. Yeah, if it she was wanted, like, How uh, old was she? I think 17. Yeah, 17. Ugh. If it was like, if it was she shot uh, Joey, that would have been chill. Yeah, she should have shot Joey. Chill. I'm not chill. advocating. I'm just saying in I, the I, revenge film that I've come up with in my mind. Mm-hmm. You're rooting for that kid to go shoot Joey. Yeah, well, this isn't that film. I recently sister. found a revenge comic book I wrote in high school. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? I'll bring it. Ahead of your time. Literally, it's Promising Young Woman. No way. It's crazy. And it's a graphic novel because I took a class called Gothic. What? <laughs> That's lit. And I read it to Ben and he was like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, I know you're not straight, but you do fuck men in a more traditional way than some of our guests. Yeah. I love how much straight women hate men. Mm. No one hates them more. Like lesbians, queers. And we, you know why we fuck them? Because we hate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, Remy. Yeah. 
No, Remy. Yeah. Straight women. (laughs) I want you to hear me. Straight women fuck men because they're attracted to them. Oh, yeah. We're definitely attracted to them. Okay. Okay. Fulton. Hi, Fulton. Come here. Fulton likes the produce. Cats love gravitating towards the person doing the most work. You're so cute. (laughs) I think he likes being up on the desk. Because it's high. Cats. Um, yeah, are cats, are they, do they lo- instinctually like high things? Yeah. Yeah, they love they it. They love that. Interesting. They like to look down on people. I didn't know that. <laughs> I think mm. it gets them away from predators is the idea. Yeah. Give me here. That's one of my favorite things about Ashley's fan base is so many cats. Yeah. Yeah. So many cat cats. lovers. When we did the outdoor tour, cats at every house. Every wow. house. Wow. We saw one cat swallow a head of a rat and we Whoa. both threw up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, cats can be brutal. I remember. In, it was uh, so gross. <laughs> it was so gross. Well, the dog ate the, the dog guts. Ate it. Yeah, yeah. The cat like brought the body over and munched on some of it. And then the dog. <laughs> oh, God. All of us. All of us. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, God. I want to throw up. Everybody. Oh, one time before. Uh. Uh, I love family, him. Before it's a family so vacation. I love that he talks um, as he jumps up. Mm-hmm. I'm coming up there. Before this family vacation. Watch the camera. Uh, that we were doing. Uh, we had cats at the time in that house. And just before we left, they were outdoor cats. And somehow a baby rabbit got in the house. Yeah. And my cat like hunted it through the house and absolutely like slaughtered it. My and- mom's cat brought me a baby rabbit once. Like as a gift. <laughs> and I was like, Man. I can't look at you anymore. <laughs> yeah, it stinks. And then like three seconds later, I was like, all right, give me a kiss. But what an honor. <laughs> but what an honor to yeah. receive the rabbit. Yeah, yeah, but it was, my mom was just so, it was like, it was such a hectic chaos before leaving for a trip. She was like, no, no. <laughs> it, was ever, it was awesome. Listener, are you listening to our Patreon exclusive, You're Having Gay Sex? Well, here's a sneak peek of what you missed last week. The location may sound strange, but I promise there were no HIPAA violations. (laughs) I began a second year master's internship for clinical counseling at a behavioral health agency. I was introduced to all of the staff, including the seasoned therapist that I would eventually be learning from and gaining insight. I was told that there was one therapist who was out on vacation at the time. About a week goes by. I see a woman walking down the halls. I had no way to be sure in the moment, but I knew it was Olive. (laughs) She knew immediately it was Olive because one of her co-workers said, Olive has smoking hot tits. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Olive's not here right now, but she has a banging (laughs) bar. There are four bonus episodes a month of this series, You're Having Gay Sex, on our Patreon at the $10 tier and then two at the $5 tier. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Two more gay things that happened at the VMAs. Sabrina Carpenter made out with a female alien. What? Wait, huh? <laughs> what? And this is not referencing the Trump debate, but yeah, wait, isn't it? Wait. Well, okay, but were they born? What does female? that mean? <laughs> what style of alien? Like a Navi? Like a hot? Like somebody like dressed Navi. up as a blue alien with a lumpy big head. But what tits on the alien? Tits, dress. Like and the alien at first yeah, the alien at like first it. was making out with an astronaut because she like did like a little nod to like oops, I did it again. Astronauts. Okay. And then Sabrina Carpenter was like, you'll have to taste me too. I don't know what the song is, but they were kissing. And then she was like, well, she's bisexual. Give me, is she? Yeah. I had no idea. Amazing. Right. Can we confirm? <laughs> but I don't know that she's had like a serious public girlfriend or anything. Yeah. And right now she's dairy, dating Barry Keegan, which, Keegan. which weirdly feels queer coded to me for some reason. No. Just that he's just like a weird little guy. Yeah. And I feel like when I, any I've sh- known a lot of lesbians that look like him. Despite the buzz, Carpenter is not publicly identified as bisexual See? or indicated that she is exploring that label. Okay. People well. have said to me she's bisexual. What is, what is, listener, what is up with uh, with Sabrina? Why do we think she's, <laughs> and Barry Keegan, well, why do we just want her to be bisexual? Yeah, we so just want it. Chance. Yeah, yeah. She's so cute. She's a little Polly Pocket. And she makes out with alien girls. So maybe you girls next. Yeah, making out with a girl alien. Mm hmm. 
It's pretty cool. Uh, here's a question, broader. Remember when Madonna and Britney kissed? Of course. That was back in the day where women kissed and it for wasn't men. for men. Yeah. And it wasn't considered gay. Gay. But Madonna's gay now. Is she? She's bisexual or something. She's something. Another confirmation. Yeah, let's get that. But. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this can we, is can a we full... get that confirmation on Madonna? <laughs> I'm going to start. Gay? I'm going to start doing this. Yeah. I'm going to start ear piece piecing for, for um, Alex. Yeah. Alex, can we look up. Can we get a prop earpiece that I can put into my ear for when I'm talking to you this way? You said she's never said anything, but we think, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> You're such a good actor. Thank you. Um, I will say, do you think it is appropriate today? To speculate? No, oh, not to, to kiss speculate. If the gays have made it to totally- queer bait? No, I don't even mean to queer bait. Oh. I'm saying- I guess technically it's queer baiting. I don't believe in queer baiting. If someone wants to explore their sexuality through performance, through performance, fine. Yeah. If that's what she's doing, then I think it's fine. But do you think it in order, do you think that using a, a same sex kiss in order to um, male gaze to feed into the male gaze, do you think that's appropriate now when we have so many out people I, I think and I personally like I remember back in the day I would have makeouts with girls for guys and, and Madonna not nothing official not gay and typical well it every most people assume and she seems to lean on that she's at least bisexual but in typical Madonna I fashion, stop. everything's I gotta a bit. I got to start fact checking everything I hear now. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not she doing a great job. She put out this video where she did like a, a trash can swoosh, and it said, "If I miss, if I get it, I'm gay." And she oh, got it. Oh yes, that's what I saw. And, and she made that. Yeah, exactly. She so you know. But is it like but she's in typical Madonna fashion? It's quite a show. No, I don't think no, it's she wouldn't. No, she would never. Um. <laughs> I love snap bracelets and I've never seen a snap watch. This is so cool. This ugly Scotland themed snap watch is brought to you by my producer from um, my Edinburgh show. From Fringe. And I'm going to keep this on here now it's in so honor cute. of my lovely time in Scotland. That's so, oh, I'm so jealous that you went. Um, it was a great time. Yeah, I don't really know about queer baiting because again, I want people to be able to explore their sexuality. I agree. I think I even when I was making out with girls for guys attention, that that was, that was an experience for me. Yeah, I yeah. got to then later in life say, yes, I did like kissing girls, you know, like even though it was for someone else, it was some, learning something about subconsciously. Me. It was actually for you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and there was this one guy in high school who used to go, if you guys kiss, we'll kiss. And he'd offer himself up with other guys and the guys would go, no. And I go, just kiss him. <laughs> you know, just let the guy have some fun. He clearly wants to. You were popular. I was you were popular at your fringe B list, I think. Fringe yeah, but from B my list? perspective, yeah. I Dang. didn't understand the levels of popular. I just I just saw all you guys standing up there. Right. And I'd be like, they're all popular. But I was friends with everybody. Me personally. That's fringe B list? I'd say that's B list, no. I okay. guess what makes I, I guess think I'm, what makes me feel fringe cat. is I only had like one best friend. Mm. I never was like in like yeah, a yeah, group yeah. in a real way. Okay, I had a couple best friends. Yeah, I had people that I called my best friends, but I wouldn't tell. Yeah, Ashley was hard D list, D list crew. Definitely double D list. Have double you seen them? Ayo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jesus Christ! What? <laughs> They're not that big. No, but remember that time you went on birth control? Yes. They got so big. They did. <laughs> <laughs> and you were the only person that noticed. And I wasn't even wearing anything tight. Mm -mm. I just walked in the, the room and you went, Auga! Yeah. <laughs> did, did I do that? And then my tongue rolled out into <laughs> stairs. Um, <laughs> no, it's because mine do that too. So I always notice. Well, I'm off the birth control. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, that was, that was a real brain poison. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Did not like how I felt on that. Okay, and one more gay thing, that ha gay-esque, and this might be queer baiting, but who's to say? Is Katie This is the nuanced discussion episode where we say a bunch of things. Variety and then we go, but topics. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't commit to anything. Yeah, there's good and bad on both, when you look at it from all the different angles. Yeah, 
Katy Perry and Dochi or Doshi. I don't know her. I don't but know her either. She was great and they scissored like what? ferociously. On the VMAs? On the VMAs. We need a video. We need a video. I think it was during I Kissed a Girl. Has Katy Perry come out as bisexual? I don't trust anybody anymore. I don't know. She's no, but there was a bit of a. She went up in um, Google searches because she uh, talked about giving Orlando Bloom a blowjob. Yeah, for cleaning it, the house. Yeah. So, are they married? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how out of date I am. Mm. She was talking about like the sexiest thing a guy can do is like clean the house, and then if he does it, she'll be like. Give me that dick or something like that. All right, this is the same have... author of I Kissed a Girl. That's yeah. crazy. I probably can't show any of this or we're going to get flagged. The, the duality of women. As little we're as wa- I can. Okay, we're watching... fast forward like two minutes, maybe. I will say it's already somewhat sapphic. Yeah, totally. She's in a giant. Okay, so here is Doshi. Okay, that's Doshi. Doshi. All these Please people are know. very attractive. They're just legs in the air, which I love. I love the legs. Yeah. Can you imagine being that dancer? Wait. Why was you that? Skip? Was it there? Yeah. Apologies. Alex. <laughs> oh. Yep. You see that? About queer baiting. Whoa. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so- Apologies. Apologies. Wait. Tell them the timestamp. <laughs> the timestamp two twenty nine two thirty. Watch along with us, listeners. Yeah. Pull it up. This is. We'll oh, provide a link. That last little frame that I saw that I didn't get to not. That you didn't get to finish. Okay. I believe they might be touching butts. Yep. There's butt on butt. Which I will say, if you're straight and you're listening, that's not how we do it. <laughs> this feels more male gaze kind of, that's I don't know, what, my that's gaze. That's how I was oh, feeling. But then also, okay, oh so if they're God. doing it for the male gaze, but then there's women who and you know non-binary people who are getting off on them doing it. Yes. I will say what they just did is incredibly hot, but... I, Nice. That one just shot Ashley um, up right they, there. It, it is incredibly hot. Would I say it's accurate scissoring? No. No. But I love the, you know what they kind of look, there we go. That's, thank you. Now that's more accurate? That would be, I think, more Woo! accurate because at least her butt Uh-oh. was on her vulva. And mm-hmm. they just cut the, the Orlando guy. Bloom? <laughs> yeah, every oh, cut to him is hilarious. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what a bi ally, Orlando <laughs> Bloom. Yeah. Wow. Bi wife All right. energy. But you see the colors in this. Yes. Are yep. bi colors. This Remy, this is why you got to do the YouTube commentary. You Don't make me do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I am doing an hour at Rodney's, October 19th. Are you really? Yeah. What day of the week is that? I think it's a Friday. I'm probably on tour. Yeah. But if you're not, but maybe not, you'll I'd love to come. grace us. Yeah, I would do a set It'd if you fun. want an opener. Oh, yeah. Who's opening? Nobody yet. I'm just going to like surprise people with my friends. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let me check my schedule right now, actually. Yay, nice. you but guys, I come. To, do you listen think- to this, wait. And this is something I don't want to say on my own podcast. Shut up, straight man. Yeah, shut up, Rob Doppelganger. <laughs> um, somebody was mean to me a few months ago. Oh, no. So I'm in Cincinnati. At a show? Oh, that's okay. No, like another comic was so mean to me. And so oh. we have to sell out October 19th for Spite. They, Why they would a comic so be mean. mean to you? Because they're comics are a mean. Do they mean. have anything going on? No, of course. That's why. But that's why it's I was not, like, people winning don't say mean things. And that's true. That's how you know I'm not doing well right now. <laughs> 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 I think you're so so great and doing great, and this has been a. a great... I've been pretty good with the optics. I got my. I had my first deadline interview today. Yay! Bigly. Congrats. And uh, the way things have been going, it'll never come out. No. And you know what? By not coming out, we'll make that article mentally ill. True. Colton, Colton. Underwood. <laughs> yes, we will. But I <laughs> wanted the the whole thing of the, because it seems like there's a big thing of artists. Oh, uh, this guy's talking again? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn you it. get it. Damn you it. get it. I'm just kidding. Artists cookie crumbing that they're gay with like, pride flag colors right but at least with the bisexual flag like those are nice those are just colors that are really most nice beautiful together. colors in sounds the world. like something a straight man would say well am i wrong there i don't know we don't know we don't know we'll never but know. that was a pretty bi Make a statement and then pull it back yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what we're saying yeah 
Uh, and we're not saying. Uh, we're whatever. not saying we're not, anything. Oh, we up, didn't yeah. say a thing. You've been listening to stuff that and we didn't even And anything that we did say, say we apologize And for. we're so sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry, that Chapel I Rome. I want to lick your nipples. <laughs> Colton. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're so hot. I can't stop staring at your tits. Yeah, that's a you problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ariana Maddox. I think everything you do is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sometimes I don't post on TikTok because I don't want her to follow me. <laughs> Wait, oh. <laughs> that's great. Remy, you're crazy. Wait, can I tell you about my gay sex? <laughs> oh, you actually had some. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, go out. where where are we? We're at 47 minutes. Perfect. Yeah, do, this do is it. the best time for that. Okay. So, Ben and I were in Gail Perry. Okay. Gay. May, for the when Olympics. Did you go to Paris? We went to Paris uh like a week and a half ago. Beautiful. What a beautiful yeah. time of year to go. My friend from here who is French got married there. Wonderful. So we went and we've never been to Europe together. We were like, let's make it a thing. Let's go. It was also his birthday. So for his birthday, I brought him to Crazy Horse, which, do you know Crazy Horse? It's like a naked lady review. It's Ooh. very classy. It's very fun. In Cool, yeah. And it's like horny and like there's cool like light stuff. Like there's this one act where like she's naked, but the lights are, or the um, projection is making look like her. she's got different dresses on and different lingerie that are changing. Cool. It's unreal. It's one of the sexiest shows I've ever seen. And I was like, I'm going to take him for his birthday so we both can get really horny and then fuck. Yeah. And <laughs> isn't that what a date is? Yes. Just getting each other horny yes. through various things? Yeah. But also when you have something visual like that, like. Of course, that's a pretty, that's like, a pretty obvious way to get someone This is a gift for horny. all. Yeah. Um, so I got pretty good seats. They included drinks and cookies. But the row in front Wait, of us, uh -huh. drinks and cookies, they drinks had and better cookies. seats and they had fancier foods. They had like foie gras and like caviar so you were and right stuff. at the end I was of right the at second the edge. most expensive. Yeah. And then the one up you were like, oh, I don't need it. But then you saw the foie gras and the caviar. Well, so I didn't buy it, though. The, the guy who was sitting in front of us was like a really old man. And he was sitting with no his way. gorgeous <laughs> young escort. No way. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Because I think he took her to get horny or just for a, an experience. Yeah, before. yeah. Yeah. And neither of them touched any of their food because they're not there for that. They're there to get horny. And so when they left and the show was over, I was like, Ben, grab their tray. <laughs> get that food. Out. The American way. <laughs> The American way. Yeah. So we grabbed it. And then everybody else who was like in our row, like looked around and like, they were like, should we do the same thing? And everybody just started taking food from the rich place, which I thought was so cute. And we took our little caviar tins home. They weren't open. Well, I closed them. Oh, okay. I closed it so I could go in my purse, took some extra cookies from the people behind us who had already Damn. left. Were they good <laughs> cookies? What kind of cookies were they? Macaron. Yeah. Oh, oh, macaron. Whoa. Well, that's not a cookie. Oh, chante. Cookies. Is it a cookie? Uh oh. Oh shit. Macaron, how do you identify? I think as it's cookie? a pastry. Let's let's see what Google has yeah. to say about we it. We have a lot of a lot of ontology happening in the last two episodes. Yeah, I'll, for I'll tell real. you what. What's ontology? It's like the philosophy of how we define things, mm. meaning and naming and categories of things. I do think that they're called cookies. But I don't know. I've heard them referred to as cookies, and every time I, I get a little angry. It's a sweet, uh, Google, Wikipedia defines it as a sweet meringue-based confection. 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 I okay. Think more because it is a meringue. A... It, yeah. There's no flour. There's no dough. Okay. So not a cookie. Anyway, we grabbed some sweet confections. But they kind of are cookies. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> they're basically cookies. Ah, <laughs> they're, they're round and... <laughs> You eat them like cookies. A rectangle oh, is not a square, but a square is a rectangle. <laughs> oh, it is. A, it says it's a sandwich cookie. It's a cookie. And this other thing. Yeah. Give me a clap. No. <laughs> it's a. It's a. It's a. Yeah, I don't know. Never mind. Listener, write in is a is a. This is like the hot is a hot dog. It's a, a macaron a cookie. Argument. Yeah. Well, do you uh, think a hot dog is a sandwich? I don't think so. I don't care. No. I think a hot dog is its own thing, but I am from hot dogs. Do so. you think a pita is a sandwich? Yes. Oh shit! A peanut? 
<laughs> what? A pita. Oh, I was like, no. A peanut? It's like, like, Ashley's crazy. <laughs> All right, that's my bad. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Just go to the most extreme example. Well, <laughs> is a peanut a sandwich? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everything is a sandwich. I was like, I was like it's what? covered on all sides. <laughs> well, there is that argument. It's either salad or it's a sandwich. Have you heard this? Foods can all be broken down into oh, okay. whether it's salad Foolish. or Foolish. A slab of steak. Salad. salad. What? No. Pancakes. Sandwich. Oh. <laughs> Butter. Well, that, that, I, that one is just like carbs or no. I feel yeah. like is just that one. This is an internet thing, like defining whether or not. Say more Leave stuff. It make it, make yeah, it clippable. Make it clippable. Um, but then this cake. Like, that's a sandwich. That's, that's a salad. No, that's no, a sandwich. That's a it's sandwich. a frosting sandwich. Oh, okay. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I love oh. it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I think the idea is that sandwich. It's a club sandwich. Sandwich <laughs> is layers and encasement. Uh huh. And salad is whoa. Okay. Which True. you wouldn't think, because salad. Who's more free? A person who eats sandwich or eats a salad. Person who eats a sandwich. sandwich. Exactly. But care. conversely, yeah. yeah, the salad is the food freedom. Dimitri Martin has a new thing about salads that really spoke to me that he's like, I hate making a salad because you have to make the salad and then you have to make a little salad on your fork for everybody. Yeah, yes. Fork. yes. I was like, oh, I genius. Hate that. Yeah. genius. That's really good. That's okay. a great bit. Okay. So the caviar is in my purse. We go to the Eiffel Tower. We eat our cookies wow. slash wow. Bed confections. No, just like by the Eiffel Tower. Wait, I, was like, I don't know. My sister's planning a wedding right now. It seems like a lot. This is what I've been saying to Jen. Yeah. Like, it's so much. I don't even know what I'm going to do for my dress, and it's not my wedding. Yeah. Yeah. I can't make decisions. Yeah. I can't even put out a YouTube channel, you guys. <laughs> How, <laughs> How am I going to do a wedding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we ate the cookies by the Eiffel Tower, and then we went home, and we... Have you ever heard of caviar bumps? No, like, like in the a, nose. No, but it's like a weird thing that they try to do at like there was some guest of a guest party, which is the only place that I've ever seen it done. But they'll have like they had a caviar per person going around and instead of putting it on a blini or a, a Pringle or something, they have you stick out your hand like you're going to take a bump and they put the caviar here and you just lick it. Huh. So okay. Ben jokingly was like, want to do a caviar bump? And I was like, sure. And then we just started putting it like. Oh, no. Everywhere. Hot. That's fun. So hot. So salty. Also so rich. So rich. So Sugar daddy stolen caviar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the idea is that you have, you're so rich, you're willing to smother caviar on one another. But you did steal it, so. Yeah, we stole it. Yeah. And it was in tins this big. But it feels rich. Yeah, it, it feels felt really like decadent. Rich. And yeah. like, it was really romantic because we saw like the Eiffel Tower like light up and shit. And it was like, you know what and you guys And when did? you're doing licking and stuff. Yeah it makes you do more mouth stuff on the body instead of just getting straight to the thing, which is a problem with straight sex. They'll just yeah. go straight for the thing. More mouth stuff on the body is a great way to say foreplay. Yeah. More mouth, mouth more stuff on the body from a woman who's been with a man for a really long time. Yeah. He does more mouth stuff on my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, foreplay could also, like we do, usually do like a lot of tickling and tickling stuff. Tickling is fun. Like, which is my favorite. Tickling. Yeah. Not like tickle tickle, but like. No, like. Scratches. Jen goes crazy. I love it. Goes crazy for like a full body tickle. When we used to do it on the bus to each other, like the girls, I think that was like my first homoerotic experience. Like I'd be like, yeah, go like closer to my tit. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I really need to be tickled right, like right here. here. Like that right here is the best tickle spot. Oh, it's, it's so nice. But for me, it's not as erotic. I just like being tickled. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's just nice. <laughs> Somebody takes your bra off at the end of the day and tickles you right there. Oh, it feels so good. Feels so good. Ugh. I'm thinking about the time that I did with my camp friends, 
crack an egg on your head. Let, Let the, the yolk drip down. down. Like touch my boob. <laughs> touch my boob. <laughs> Squeeze oranges on your shoulders now. Touch my boob. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze a boob on my boobs. Oh, squeeze, that's squeeze my, my boob. <laughs> oh, that's my boob. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that as being a homoerotic opportunity for, for girls the way sports are for boys. Mm. But I think you're so right. I think it is. But for me, I just genuinely, that's now I'm looking back and being like, you idiot. <laughs> Why didn't you use that more? <laughs> you fool. Fool. No, I didn't. I, I felt like kind of, I was like, wait, is this okay for me to be getting like turned on by like my friends? Oh, you're so hard on yourself. I know. Of course it's okay for you to be secretly turned on by your friends. I know. Only like the chronically online think it's wrong to have thoughts mm. and feelings. You know what the problem is? I'm that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my way of checking in with you. Yeah. But my scroll time is way down. Nice. Good. Yeah. What are you doing to do that? I've just been like going to Paris and <laughs> <laughs> sightseeing. And you know what I loved about your date with your boyfriend mm -hmm. that I think would be great for our bisexual listeners at home in relationships with men. Mm -hmm. What a great way to work your sexuality into the sex. Oh, you yeah. Literally, maybe bi girls are already doing this and I don't know it, but you're literally like going and watching a woman, like a hot, hot woman. Hot women. She's turning you on. He's. While he is There's involved. like nine of them, by the way. And yeah. then they have one guy doing like one little medley and he was hot too. Nice. Ugh. But I think he's not, he is involved because he's with you, but he's not involved in a threesome creepy way. Yeah. He's not involved in a way that maybe some bi women wouldn't want him to be. Yeah. Or you like know? in a, oh, like it's my birthday. We like your vibe. Well, I don't like your vibe. Get away from me. Yeah, exactly. Like not making anybody else feel weird. Like yeah, it was perfect. So it's like you're able to like be your full bisexual self in that environment and then you go home and you're already turned on. And, and, you and we watch porn it. too. Oh, that's like, another we watch girl on girl porn. That's nice. Together. Jen and I, I'm not a big porn person and we like different types of porn. I'm not massive on it. We've only done it like a handful of times. I don't know if anyone would admit to being massive on porn, but oh, I have a friend who is massive on porn and he like loves it. Um, <laughs> but it gives us some ideas, you know? Yeah, it's really cool. You do what they do. You're like, look, so much should mouth I, stuff on the body. Should, <laughs> should I bring Jen to like a magic mic show and just sit next to her? Yes. Jen? <laughs> Jen, sit on Hi, my face. Jen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jennifer Davis. Jen Parker Davis, who just booked a role and I'm not allowed to talk about <gasps> it. Congrats. I'm so um, excited. Okay, so Remy, where are we? We're an hour in. Okay, so we'll make this and be I the last that. thought. I knew that. You did. <laughs> you fucking did. I'm late to the party. <laughs> Remy went on a we date. We already have inside jokes. With Ben. Were they like a burlesque style show? Ooh la la. Yeah. Where? And in Paris. Ooh. It's crazy horse. All we'll women, one wow. guy. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, you I need see. to go. I love you. I love you. How's it going? Um, but, <laughs> but here's the idea. Okay. So she's there at the show. It's all hot. It's mostly women. It's like entirely women. In the audience. No, in the, the show. Okay. Yeah. She gets turned on. Obviously, he's turned on. But she gets turned on in a bisexual way. Nice. And then they go. <laughs> and then they go, Even better. You two, the best way to get you turned two on. Are so <laughs> it's actually fun to watch you two because I think you two would be separate, separately friends. Like if I weren't involved, you guys would be friends. Yeah, we like each other. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> so I like having this because it doesn't feel like this is my friend and Jen has to. Interact. Oh, no. Um, but uh, <laughs> but um, I love that you like break down like relationships. Like it's just such a like a little tick to be like. And I think things are going well here. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and they are Get out. And they are. <laughs> That's my time. <laughs> God, you look beautiful. Thank you. OK. Uh, but so there she's turned on. Yeah. They're turned on. Excuse me. No, stop. You and don't remember the last episode? No. I said I feel they, but I don't like people to call me it because then other people get the credit. <laughs> if other people don't <laughs> understand plurals, they'll be like, their podcast's great. I'm like, it's just mine. <laughs> it's just mine. It's me. All me. <laughs> that's very funny. And that's not insulting to any non binary people. I love you and I am that's, one of you. Um that's Gen Z chronically online rot brain. Okay. But, uh, but no one is thinking that. 
Um, but uh, well, this is selfish. I want all the credit, brain. Great, perfect. So she gets turned on by a woman, and then they have sex. Isn't that great? A great way. Oh, I was like with the burlesque dancer. Yeah, fuck no, no. yeah. <laughs> oh no. But isn't that, that a great like, way? Yeah. To while you're in a monogamous opposite sex relationship. Yes. Like engage your we'll fantasies. Go, like, watch queerness. Magic Mike. That's, That's what she that. said. <laughs> <laughs> Fulton Aww. did not like that. Um, <laughs> would you like to go watch Magic Mike and I can sit next to you? But that wouldn't be the same thing for you, though, because you wouldn't get turned right. on. Right. No, but I'm still, it. I'm still, I'm an ally. <laughs> and Magic Mike, they bring women up on stage oh. and and do stuff to them. That's and cool. you might enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. Yeah, I would enjoy I it. Or she's that. just sobbing in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, that's not really like my type of man. I right. know, they'd have to bring do out they bring like, out like a, weird like little skinny, skinny guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just uh-huh. like bones hitting the floor and trying to yeah. perform. Like, Can they, barely they, hold himself in a plank. It's just like wiggling. They don't speak oh, English. That's like my favorite. Uh, literally. Shaking. It's oh. the closest a man gets to a vibrator. It's just like, it's so weak. Wait, have you seen that in bed? Yes, actually, now, now that I think of it, like arms shaking. Well, <laughs> does it hard. turn you on? No, that's okay. a little bit much. Okay, that's sorry, crazy. I don't know. <laughs> it makes me feel like, oh, wow, you're really doing work. Skinny like, little hard. weird guy yeah. Magic Mike is actually a great SNL sketch. Totally. Yeah, like weird like, Brooklyn boy Magic yes. Mike. Starring Timothy Chalamet and Troy Sivan. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It'd be the hottest thing in the world. Well, thank you, Jen. That's all we needed. Troy Sivan in that music video. Rush, both both as a woman and a oh, man. Uh, Such one a of your girls, so hot. That's the one. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, uh, thank you. That. Thank you. Thank you. Is by Jen Parker What's Davis the opposite of by platforms. panic? By euphoria. By euphoria. Yeah. Bye. Did you put my laundry in? It's, yes, it's. You are a goddess. No. You are a goddess. Did you put my laundry in? No, that's not how I meant it. I meant it like <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> that's how I meant it. Like that was amazing. Now, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. Jen does not do my laundry. I just have a really <laughs> when we have really packed days, we help each other and I'm going on tour to I'm going on tour tomorrow. So she did me the favor of starting my laundry. <laughs> the shaking eyelid amazing <laughs> amazing um okay remy well where can people find you find and me what do you want on people to listen to instagram and tiktok at remy casimir and also i'm still on x wow it's like ro- i'm just rolling all the time because i'm on x um okay nobody liked that <laughs> i did I, I did i just and also, please listen to How Come. We've been on a hiatus for a few months. It will be coming back. Um, and if you want to get into Love Island, re- We Really Love Island is a great place to start. Episode or Season one is season one of UK and season two is season two of UK. It's like a watch along podcast. Were you doing it once a week at the end of each week? No, I did it years after they had already. It was an homage. You did <laughs> Who did a recap show. For anybody who wants to get into it in this moment, you can always start with me, (laughs) Remy. Well, I love your podcast. I've done it twice. I I treasure you. Thank you. I treasure you too. And October 19th, really, because somebody was so mean that we got A man was mean to her. No, it was a woman. A straight was mean to her. Yeah. Yes. So you go on October 19th. I swear to fucking God. It's in my little bio on Instagram. And links will be in the YouTube description. Bring your grandparents. Great room. They I like probably, how they did it. Isn't it great? Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. Ashley came to do a show there once and she was like, oh, there's like no people here. It's going to be fucking hard. And it was so and fun. It was the best show ever. Yeah. It was so fun. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. Love you. you. Plug anything, Ashley? Oh, you know, you guys, 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 guys. Please just give me a dollar. Like, what is it going to take? What, how long have you been listening? How many hours? Yeah, look at Remy right now. If you're, if you're at home, Remy is disgusted. Please. How would, how would you say your, your attitude is right now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah, like <laughs> we are doing, here's the thing. I'm appalled. That, yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? Ow, my knee. Listen, <sighs> without, <laughs> without donating. A, a dollar? Why not? A dollar? What's the deal with you not donating a dollar?
Thank you so much for listening. Patreon.com slash WHGS to donate to this podcast. We need your donation. We need it now, listener. If you don't donate, the kids are going to get polio and die in an orphan fire. That's so sad. (laughs) Please donate. I didn't even know that was what was on the line. (laughs) That's Um, so sad. It's God, isn't it terrible if they don't donate a dollar? Patreon.com slash WHS for bonus episodes. Save those polio orphans. I can't believe that's going to happen. (laughs) Oh, it's going to happen. And you know what's going to happen? How it's going to happen? If they don't donate, I'm going to make it happen. Good. Oh, I, I am running around <laughs> with vials of polio. Biological warfare. But, and, and then and then the orphan fire. I'm going to figure out exactly what that means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My gay thought this week. Mm-hmm. Remy's helping. OK. Remember when we talked about Titanic? Yeah. Look right we behind, loved it look right so behind much. You. Yeah. So apparently the one who played Rose and co-wrote it. She's the original Rose. She's not on it right now. She's on another show called The Big Gay Jamboree, where which we have to see, apparently. Is it good? I haven't seen it. But my friend, Tim, shout out to Tim, was like, go. If you like Titanic, you will love The Big Gay Jamboree. Okay. I thought she was so talented. Yeah. I don't know if she has any writing, like, to do with any of the writing of this. But okay. Is she gay? I don't know. That was more of a... You promoted someone else's work. Gay. Um, promotion promotion and gay <laughs> outing suggestion yeah we we almost outed someone maybe no no just we should go on an outing to see oh, this oh. show <laughs> <laughs> we sh- we should go to the theater <laughs> I, I thought you meant like we should out this person yeah, this is, this is more, here's a person i'd like to suggest for an outing more thespian less lesbian the idea of outing as a like a as a thing, segment as an outing yeah like like oh who are we outing this week um uh we're going oh, on fuck. an outing we're we're, we're outing coding colton underwood that's who we're yeah. outing we're outing um sean mendez this week <laughs> there'll be an outing of sean mendez sean's straight he's just smooth just got smooth skin actually i don't know i don't know sean do whatever you want at, you have to you have to blur my entire body during that segment <laughs> you have to blur my entire body do whatever you want sean i hope i'm included i agree i agree i don't want to be included though i do i'm sorry we're sorry i'm so sorry sean, sean mendez. mendez we're so sorry have a great week everybody bye, bye.